Okay, are you my mother? Turn that page. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on, I gotta read it. A mother, a mother bird sat at her egg and the egg jumped. I must get something for my bird to eat, she said. So away she went. Inside the nest, the egg jumped, it jumped and jumped until out came a baby bird. Where is my mother, he said. He did not see her anywhere. I will go and look for her, he said. Can okay, I turn the page? No, I want to turn the page. Out of the nest, he went down, down, down. Plop. The baby could not fly. But he could walk. Now I will go and find my mother, he said. Turn that page. Turn the page. Are you my mother? The baby bird asked the kitten. The kitten just looked and looked. He had not, did not say a thing. Are you my mother? The baby bird asked a hen. Nope, said the hen. Okay, turn the page. Are you my mother? He asked a dog. I am not your mother. I am a dog, said the dog. Are you my mother? The baby bird asked a cow. How could I be your mother? said the cow. I am a cow. Turn the page. Okay. The baby bird stopped to think. The kitten and the hen were not his mother. The dog and the cow were not his mother. I have a mother, said the baby bird. I know I do. I will find her. I will. I will. Just then the baby bird saw a big thing. You are my mother, he said. The big Thing said snort oh no said the baby bird you are not my mother you are a scary snort the snort lifted the baby bird up 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 okay turn the page okay. then something happened the snort put the baby bird right back in the tree the baby bird was home Turn the page. Okay. Just then the mother bird came back. I know you are. I know. I know who you are, said the baby bird. You are not a kitten or a hen or a dog. You are not a cow or a snort. You are a bird and you are my mother. The end. Dada by Jimmy Fallon. Dada. Ba. Dada. Quack. Dada. Bzz. Dada. Oof. Dada. Sniff. Dada. Meow. Dada. Squeak. Dada. Hee ha. Dada. Oink. Dada. Ribbit. Dada. Beep. Dada. Nee. Now everybody get in line. Let's say it together one more time. Dada! The end. Daniel plays at school. Hi neighbor. Welcome to my school. Do you want to play? Asks Miss Elena. Yes. I want to build a train. Miss Elena wants to build a spaceship. We want to build different things. 
What should we do? We ask teacher Harriet. She says, try to solve the problem yourself. You will feel proud. We talk about our problem. We have an idea. We will build a space train. This block is the engine. These are the rockets. And these blocks are the wings. We did it. How do you feel? Teacher Harriet asks. We feel proud. It is time for our space train to blast off. Prince Wednesday wants to play with us. Miss Elena will drive the train. I will be a space alien. I will wear this green jacket. Prince Wednesday wants to be a space alien too. We both want to wear the jacket. What should we do? Try to solve the problem yourself. You will feel proud. We have an idea. We can both wear the green jacket. We are a silly space alien together. Now we can blast off to space school. I like solving problems at school today. Ugga mugga. The end. Everything is mama. Everything is mama, according to you. But there are other fun words you'll want to know, too. Son. Mama. Waffle. Mama. Hat. Mama. Shoes, Mama. Flower, Mama. Boat, Quack. Apples, Mama. Ball, Mama. Balloon, Mama. Noodles, Mama. Bubbles, Mama. Pajamas, Mama. Moon, Mama. Everything is mama, according to you. But one day you'll see mama's everything is you. Mama! The end. I am confident. When I raise my hand and the teacher calls on me, five plus four equals I show my courage. I'm the best that I can be. You can do it. When we're on the sidelines and we cheer our teammates on, that's how we show our... spirit and make each other strong. My th favorite thing about myself is I am a good friend, I smile, and sometimes we need to focus on our own good qualities. That's when we build ourselves up.
and work on self-esteem. We bring joy to one another when we paint happy scenes, when we look on the bright side. We practice positivity. The end. I am respectful. When I go out to eat with family, I hold the door open and they thank me. That's how I practice courtesy. I keep my elbows off the table and put my napkin in my lap. I practice good manners as my family chats. I say please and thank you when dad passes me the bread. I know this makes him happy. He smiles and nods his head. I like to show my appreciation in every situation. When I'm finished eating, but the others aren't quite done, I need to practice patience and wait for everyone. The end. I spy backyard bugs. I spy with my little eyes something beginning with A. A is for ant. I spy with my little eyes something beginning with B. B is for B. I spy with my little eyes something beginning with C and D. C is for caterpillar, D is for dragonfly. I spy with my little eyes something beginning with E. E is for earwig. I spy with my little eyes something beginning with F. F is for firefly. I spy with my little eyes something beginning with G and H. G is for grasshopper, H is for housefly. I spy with my little eye something beginning with I. I is for inchworm. I spy with my little eye something beginning with J. J is for June bug. I spy with my little eye something beginning with K and L. K is for katydid. L is for ladybug. I spy with my little eye something beginning with M. M is for millipede. I spy with my little eyes something beginning with N. N is for netwing. I spy with my little eyes something beginning with O and P. O is for orb weaver. P is for praying mantis. I spy with my little eyes something beginning with Q. Q is for queen butterfly. I spy with my little eyes something beginning with R. R is for rhino beetle. I spy with my little eyes something beginning with S and T. S is for stick insect. T is for termite. I spy with my little eyes something beginning with U. U is for underwing moth. I spy with my little eyes something beginning with a V. V is for velvet ant. I spy with my little eyes something beginning with W and X. W is for water boatman. X is for xylodromus. 
I spy with my little eyes something beginning with Y. Y is for yellow jacket. I spy with my little eye something beginning with Z. Z is for zebra butterfly. The end. Dragons Love Tacos by Adam Rubin. Hey kid, did you know that dragons love tacos? They love beef tacos and chicken tacos. They love really big gigantic tacos and tiny little baby tacos as well. Why do dragons love tacos? Maybe it's the smell from the sizzling pan. Maybe it's the crunch of the crispy tortillas. Maybe it's a secret. Either way, if you want to make friends with dragons, tacos are key. Hey dragon, why do you guys love tacos so much? But wait! As much as dragons love tacos, they hate spicy salsa even more. They hate spicy green salsa and spicy red salsa. They hate spicy chunky salsa and spicy smooth salsa. If the salsa is spicy at all, dragons can't stand it. Why do dragons hate spicy salsa? Well, just one drop of hot sauce makes a dragon's ears smoke. Just one single speck of hot pepper makes a dragon snort sparks. Spicy salsa gives dragons the tummy troubles. And when dragons get the tummy troubles, oh boy. If you want to make tacos for dragons, keep the toppings mild. Tomatoes, lettuce, cheese. These are all good toppings for tacos for dragons. Hey dragon, how do you feel about spicy taco toppings? Dragons love parties. They like costume parties and pool parties. They like big gigantic parties with accordions and tiny little parties with charades. Why do dragons love parties? Maybe it's the conversation. Maybe it's the dancing. Maybe, maybe it's the comforting sound of a good friend's laughter. <clears throat> the only thing dragons love more than parties or tacos is taco parties. Taco parties are parties with lots of tacos. If you want to have some dragons over for a taco party, you'll need buckets of tacos, pant loads of tacos. The best way to judge is to get a boat and fill the boat with tacos. That's about how many tacos dragons need for a taco party. After all, dragons love tacos. Hey dragon, are you excited for the big taco party? Just remember, dragons hate spicy salsa. Before you host your taco party with dragons, get rid of all the spicy salsa. In fact, bury the spicy salsa in the backyard so the dragons can't find it. These dragons love your taco party. They love the music. They love the decorations. They especially love the tacos. Congratulations. It's a good thing you got rid of all that spicy... Wait a second. What are those little green things in the salsa? You didn't read the fine print? 
now with spicy jalapeno peppers. Dragons, listen to me. Do not eat those tacos. Those little green specks in the salsa, those are jalapeno peppers. They are super spicy. I know you love tacos, dragons, but you are not going to love those tacos. Do not let those dragons eat those tacos. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Why would dragons help you rebuild your house? Maybe they're good Samaritans. Maybe they feel bad for wrecking it. Maybe they just in it for the taco breaks. After all, dragons love tacos. The end. Little Shark, Finger Puppet Book. Little Shark's home is deep in the sea. He is surrounded by fish, but they always flee. All Little Shark wants are a few nice friends, but when they come near, he always offends. Little Shark just wants to have a fun day. Play hide and seek in the surf and swim round the bay. But poor Little Shark spends his days all alone. Is it too much to ask for a friend of his own? The starfish must have read Little Shark's mind. He'll make the perfect new friend. He's one of a kind. Not only has Little Shark found a best friend, but he found a gold star, the kind you know will glow from afar. The end. Mu ba la 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 by Sandra Boynton. A cow says mu. A sheep says ba. Three singing pigs say la la la. No, no, you say that isn't right. The pigs say oink all day and night. Rhinoceroses snort and snuff and little dogs go rough, rough, rough. Some other dogs go bow, wow, wow and cats and kittens say meow. Quack, says the duck. A horse says nay. It's quiet now. What do you say? The end. Oscar's first book of manners. Oscar has been learning about manners. Let's see how well he does. Oscar, you are in your grungy submarine and you see a diver ahead. What do you say? Scram. No, um... Excuse me, please. Oscar, you are offered a cookie, but you are already full from eating two sardine sandwiches. What do you say? Nope. Oops, er, no thank you.
Oscar, while out on a trail, you have a short chat with a fellow hiker. What do you say as he goes his way? Hey, have a rotten rats. Have a nice day. You are taking Stinky to the garden show, and your terrible taxi driving makes Stinky bump around. What do you say, Oscar? So what? Uh, no, so sorry. Oscar, you have just sold three glasses of your sourest lemonade yet. Your customers say thank you. What do you say? You're welcome, and here's some sugar. Very good, Oscar. Thanks. Now scram. The end. Owlet and the Giving Owl. Today is show and tell. Amaya is excited to show the class her Giving Owl statue. But your aunt told you to give away the statue, Connor says. Giving makes you feel good. Greg says, Amaya does not want to give away the statue. Amaya, Greg, and Connor walk into class. Someone stole all the show and tell things. This looks like a job for the PJ masks. Greg becomes Gecko. Connor becomes Catboy. Amaya becomes Owlette. They are the PJ Masks. Catboy hears moths with his super cat ears. The moths lead them to Luna Girl. Luna Girl goes to steal more things. The PJ Masks follow. Oh no, Luna Girl steals the Giving Owl statue. The statue is perfect. I do not want the other stuff anymore, Luna Girl tells her moss. Let her keep the statue, Catboy tells Owlet. She says she will return the other stuff. No, Owlet says, it is mine. She takes the giving owl from Luna Girl. Luna Girl is mad. She steals more stuff. While the heroes put the stolen things back, Luna Girl takes the giving owl again. It is all she wants. Can she keep the statue, Gecko asks. You are supposed to give it away anyway. Alette does not want to give away the giving owl. The PJ masks return to the Luna Lair. There is a force field around it. <clears throat> Luna Girl jumps out. She freezes Gecko with her Luna Magnet. Luna Girl freezes Catboy too. Time to be a hero, Owlet says. You can have the statue if you let Catboy and Gecko go. No, Luna Girl says. She tries to freeze Owlet next. Owlette creates wind with her owl wings. The wind makes Luna Girl drop the statue and her Luna Magnet. Gecko and Catboy are free. Owlette takes the giving owl back. I am sorry, Luna Girl says. Owlette feels bad for Luna Girl. She gives her the giving owl. Giving it away does feel good. The PJ Masks return, the show and tell things. The day is saved. The end. Here is Paw Patrol, ready, set, rescue. There are seven sound effects. Ready, set, rescue.
The Paw Patrol keeps Adventure Bay safe and dry every day. Chase is raring to go and ready to help when Ryder gets a call on his pup pad. Now it's all paws on deck at the lookout. We've got our work cut out for us today, says Ryder. Katie is stranded in her rowboat. Zuma hops in his hovercraft and races to the bay. Chase guides Katie to safety. More trouble on the bay, says Ryder. Captain Turbot's boat is stuck. Zuma dives in. He swims down deep to find the trouble and save the day. Then Ryder gets another call from far away in the frozen north. As Sky zooms in, she spots a baby seal floating all alone in the water. Chase is on the case. He pulls the seal to safety. What a day. Who's rough, rough, ready to play? Zuma, Chase, and Sky. Ryder takes all the Paw Patrol pups to the beach. There are pup treats for everyone when the job is done. Pups away! The end. Puppies in the Park At the local dog park, puppies play out on the lawn. The big dog is sleepy. He lets out a giant yawn. The greyhound is grand. He's long and he's sleek. As he runs to catch the ball, he goes by with a streak. The chihuahua is yappy. She loves to bark and bark. She's showing she's happy to be at the park. The Pomeranian is friendly. He begs for a snack. Then he smiles at you and hopes you come back. The end. This book is called A is for Apple by Tiger Tales. A is for Apple and Ant. B is for Ball and B. C is for cat and a car. D is for dog and duck. E is for elephant and egg. F is for frog and fish. G is for goat and gate. H is for hen and house. I is for ice cream and igloo. J is for jet and jam. K is for key and kite. L is for lion and lamp. M is for moon and mouse. N is for nest and nut. O is for octopus and orange. P is for pig and pear. Q is for queen and quilt. R is for rabbit and ring. S S is for sun and shoes. T 
is for tree and truck. U is for umbrella and unicorn. V is for violin and vase. W is for watch and whale. X is for xylophone and x-ray. Y is for yo-yo and yacht. And Z is for zebra or zebra and zipper. The end. This is a series called Reading Time. This is a book by Eric Carl. It's just for kids. Do you want to be my friend? Do you want to be my friend? What kind of animal is that? It's a horse. What kind of animal has those two tails? A bird and an alligator. What kind of animal has this tail? A lion. What kind of animal has this tail? Hippo. Sea lion. What about this tail? Monkey. What about this one? Peacock. Fox. Kangaroo. Giraffe. Tiny little tail. Mouse. This one continues, continues. And it's a snake. And the last page, the end, the mouse is underground. The end. Today's book is Pika Who by Nina Layden. Pika Who? Pika Moo? Pika Boo Pika Zoo Pika Choo Choo Pika You the end. This is the iBook by Dr. Seuss. My I see, his I see. I see him, and he sees me. Our eyes see blue, our eyes see red. They see a bird. They see a bed. They see the sun. They see the moon. They see a fork, a knife, a spoon. They see a girl. They see a man. A boy, a horse, an old tin can. They look down holes. They look up poles. Our I see trees. They look at clocks. They look at bees. They look at socks. Our I see flies. Our I see ants. Sometimes they see pink underpants.
Our eyes see rings. Our eyes see strings. They see so many, many things. So many things like rain and pie. And dogs and planes in the sky. And so we say hooray for eyes. Hooray, hooray, hooray for eyes. The end. Ten Apples Up on Top by Dr. Seuss. One apple up on top. Two apples up on top. Look you, I can do it too. Look, see, I can do three. You can do three, but I can do more. You have three, but I have four. Look, see now, I can hop with four apples up on top. And I can hop up on a tree with four apples up on me. Look here, you two. See here, you two. I can get five on top. Can you? I am so good I will not stop. Five, now six, now seven on top. Seven apples up on top. I am so good they will not drop. Five, six, seven, fun, fun, fun. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. But see, we are as good as you. Look, now we have seven, two. Now, see here, eight, eight on top. Eight apples up, not one will drop. But I can do nine and hop and drink. You cannot do this, I think. Nine is very good, but then come on and we will make it 10. Look, 10 apples up on top. We are not going to let them drop. The end. This is the 10 little dinosaurs. And the eyeballs move around. Ten little dinosaurs bouncing on the bed. Pachycephalosaurus fell off and broke his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more boneheads bouncing on the bed. Nine little dinosaurs riding on a bike. Stegosaurus crashed and smashed his spike. The policeman yelled from atop his trike. No more nut brains riding on a bike. Eight little dinosaurs munching on a mooth. Tyrannosaurus chomped and broke his tooth. The dentist shouted from his dentist booth. No more sharp tooth munching on a mooth. Seven little dinosaurs rafting down a river. Spinosaurus flipped over and went all a quiver. The lifeguard said with a cold wet shiver, no more silly sails rafting down the river. Six little dinosaurs jumping off a peak. Archaeopteryx drove Dove and tweaked his beak. One called the ranger and the ranger shrieked. No more featherhead jumping off a peak. Five little dinosaurs playing in the street. Ankylosaurus yelled, a car to beat. He charged the street. Squeal, screech, bleat, speak. No more dino tanks playing in the street.
Four little dinosaurs acting sort of cool. Supersaurus wore his shades to school. The teacher sighed. Why is that against the rules? No more super lizards acting sort of cool. Three little dinosaurs on a camp out. Chasmosaurus asked, What's a lava tube about? He said he slid the tube then blasted out the spout. No more frill seekers on a camp out. Two little dinosaurs watching baseball. Sorolophilus yelled, Hey, that's a bad call. The umpire didn't like that talk at all. No big mouths watching baseball. One little dinosaur walking all alone. The sunburnt triceratops into dried up bones. Look, called the scientist, at all these fossil stones. No more three horns walking all alone. No more dinosaurs hanging on the brink. They all disappeared in a geologic wink. The doctor said, well, this, well, this just stinks. Poor little dinosaurs, all extinct. The end. The Berenstain Bears and the Spooky Old Tree by Stan and Jan Berenstain. Three little bears, one with a light, one with a stick, one with a rope. A spooky old tree, do they dare go into that spooky old tree? Yes, they dare. Three little bears, one with a light, one with a stick, one with a rope. A twisty old stair, do they dare go up that twisty old stair? Yes, they do. Three little bears, one with a light, one with a stick, and one with the shivers. A giant key, a moving wall. Will the three little bears go through that wall? Do they dare go into that spooky old hall? Yes, they dare. Three little bears, one with a light, and two with the shivers. Great sleeping bear. Do they dare go over the great sleeping bear? Do they dare? Well, they came into the tree, they climbed a stair, they went through the wall, and into the hall. So of course they went over the great sleeping bear. Three little bears, without a light, without a stick, without a rope, and all with the shivers. How will they ever get out of there? Through the floor, up a ladder, down a slide, and out a door. Three little bears running fast. Home again, safe at last. The end. The Nose Book by Al Perkins. I see a nose on every face. I see noses every place. A nose between each pair of eyes. Noses, noses, every size. They grow on every kind of head. They come in blue and pink and red. Some are very, very long. Some are very, very strong. Everywhere a fellow goes, he sees some new, new kind of nose. A nose is useful, after all. Some play horns and some play ball. A nose is good for making holes in trees and roofs and barber poles. But sometimes noses aren't much fun. They sniffle. They get burned by sun. But just suppose you had no nose. Then you could never smell a rose or pie or chicken a la king. You'd never smell a single thing. And one thing more, suppose, no nose. Where would all our glasses sit? 
it all fall off. Just think of it. The End The Tooth Book by Dr. Seuss Teeth, you'll find them everywhere, on mountaintops and in the air. And if you care to poke around, you'll even find them underground. You'll find them east, west, north, and south. You'll find them in a lion's mouth. They come in handy when you chew, says Dr. Donald Driscoll Drew. That's why my family grew a few. Teeth come in handy when you speak, says broadcaster Quincy Queek. Without my teeth, I'd talk like ducks and only broadcast quacks and clucks. Clams have no teeth, says Pam the Clam. I cannot eat hot dogs or ham. No teeth at all, says Pam the Clam. I cannot eat roast leg of lamb or peanuts, pizzas, popcorn, spam, not even huckleberry jam. I have no teeth, says Hilda Hen, but women do, and so do men. So I have happy news for you. You will grow two sets. Set one, set two. You will lose set number one, and when you do, it's not much fun. But then you'll grow set number two, 32 teeth and all brand new. 16 downstairs and 16 more upstairs on the upper floor. And when you get your second set, that's all the teeth you'll ever get. So don't chew down trees like beavers do. If you try, you'll lose set number two. Don't gobble junk like Billy Billings. They say his teeth have 50 fillings. They sure are handy when you smile, so keep your teeth around a while. The End The Ugly Duckling In the far back corner of a big barn on a small farm that is just on the other side of a hill, a bird was born to a family of ducks. Her name was Lucy. Lucy didn't look quite like the others. This is her story. From the moment Lucy was born, she just didn't seem to fit in. Lucy had gray feathers. Her brothers and sisters had yellow feathers. They thought her feathers looked funny. When their mom wasn't listening, Lucy's brothers and sisters teased her and called her the Ugly Duckling. They would sing, Ugly Duckling, with feathers all gray, go away, we don't want to play. Sometimes when Lucy was in the barnyard, all the animals would join in on the teasing. They would sing together, Ugly Duckling, with feathers all gray, go away, we don't want to play. Lucy's mom loved Lucy just as she loved all her other baby ducks, but sometimes all the mom love in the world cannot make up for the teasing. By winter, Lucy decided she would be happier if she went off and lived alone, and that's just what she did. Then a strange thing happened. That winter, Lucy's gray feathers disappeared. They were replaced by beautiful white feathers. It turned out Lucy wasn't an ugly duckling at all. She was a beautiful swan. Lucy hurried back to the barnyard. Nobody recognized her, except of course her mom. So they did not know it was Lucy. All the animals thought this swan was beautiful. Every animal in the barnyard started singing, Beautiful swan with feathers all white, Stay and play with us tonight. When all the animals learned who Lucy was, they couldn't believe it. They had been sad when she left, and they were really happy to have her back. They promised to never again tease Lucy. More than learning not to tease, all the animals learned that instead of making fun of others who look different, they should be nice to everybody. 
they decided to be nice to everyone all the time from that day on. And that's just what they did. The end. There is a bird on your head by Mo Williams. Piggy. Is something on my head? Yes. There is a bird on your head. There is a bird on my head. Ah! Is there a bird on my head now? No. Now there are two birds on your head. What are two birds doing on my head? They are in love. The birds on my head are in love. They are love birds. Love birds? How do you know they are love birds? They are making a nest. Two birds are making a nest on my head? Why would two birds make a nest on my head? I'm afraid to ask. Do I have an egg on my head? One. Two. Three. You have three eggs on your head. I do not want three eggs on my head. Then I have good news. The eggs are gone. The eggs are hatching. Hatching? The eggs on my head are hatching? Cheep, 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 cheep. They have hatched. Now I have three baby chicks on my head and two birds and a nest. I do not want three baby chicks, two birds and a nest on my head. Where do you want them? Somewhere else. Why not ask them to go somewhere else? Ask them? Ask them. Okay, I will try asking. Excuse me, birds. Will you please go somewhere else? No problem. It worked. Bye. Now there are no birds on my head. Thank you, Piggy. Thank you very much. You are welcome. The end. There's a Walket in My Pocket by Dr. Seuss. Yeah. Yeah. Did, you do my book? Did you ever have the feeling there's a zamp in the lamp? Or a nink in the sink, or a wasset in the closet. Sometimes I am quite certain there's a jerton in the curtain. And when I hear a talk, I know a zox behind the clock. Hey, look. His feet. Look. And the zelf on the shelf, I have talked to her myself. I like the zabel on the table and the gear 
beneath the chair. But that bofa on the sofa acts as if he doesn't care. I like the geeling on the ceiling and the zower in the shower. And the nubbards in the cupboards. I do like them a lot. But that newt brush on my toothbrush, well, some are nice, but he is not. The yeps on the steps are always fun to have around, and so are many, many other friends that I have found. Like the teller and the neller and the geller and the deller and the beller and the weller and the zeller in the cellar. There's the yaddle in the bottle, whom I do not wish to keep, but the zillow on my pillow always helps me fall asleep. The end. Things That Go, Some Fast, Some Slow, by Page Publications. Things That Go, Some Fast, Some Slow. Some up in the air, some in a tunnel. Some have two wheels, some have four. Some with many, many more. Chugga, chugga, choo, choo. Things that go on water, toot, toot. Some big, some small. They dig, snort, and move gravel around. Some go to the rescue, keeping you safe. Meow. Some go up in the sky, some fast, some slow. Things that go, powered by dad. Some bring packages to your door, and others bring cold tasty treats. Things that go. School bus, stop. We some just for you. The end. Kittens in the cafe. There's a very special cafe where kitties like to go. A fluffy Persian purrs and meows to say hello. A fat, sleepy tabby naps on a comfy chair. He just let out a yawn. There's no better spot anywhere. A sleek, playful kitty bats at a furry mouse, but it's always out of reach, just as he opens his mouth. A snuggy little kitten let out a tiny meow. He loves his cafe home, especially the view. The end. This is the ultimate book of dinosaurs. And I'm gonna skip to the A to Z of dinosaurs. There's a lot of names here. I'm not even going to try and pronounce all of them.
and the last one.